Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at fixing the Windows 10 searches down, what you probably are seeing. When you type in search, you're using Windows key plus S. You start typing stuff in. You get all sorts of results, the web, blah, blah, blah. You're getting a blank screen. This started somewhere early in February, I think. And if they do as bad of a job as they did with File Explorer search, we could be waiting months for them to figure this one out. But we got you. So I've got registry files for you. I think I've updated the page. Let me see real quick. Yeah, we've created registry files. You can click here and just download now to grab those. The link will be in the video description, but I'm going to do both. I'm going to show you what we're doing. So depends whether you want to play with the registry or not. If you highlight this code right here, right click copy, press your Windows key plus R to bring up the run dialog and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Go ahead and press enter. Click yes, and right up here, you can see I already have it. Press Control V, press Enter, and it'll bring you to this. So there's two things that's going to happen when we run the registry files. We're going to look at Cortana consent right here. You see the number zero? That's what you want. If by some weird chance you have a one there, go ahead, double click it, and here's your value data of zero. Change that to a one or a zero. My bad. Let's make sure we got that right. It should be zero. Yeah. All right, the other thing you're going to do is we're going to right click next and we're going to create a new D word and we're going to call it Bing search enabled. Let me show you. Click over here on the right and do new D word 32 bit value, even if you have a 64 bit operating system. Bing search enabled and make sure you type it just like that. Capital B, capital S, capital E, just in case. Now, once again, by default, it should be zero right here, your value data. And once again, it shouldn't be a problem, but just in case, zero. So zero there. And that's exactly what the registry files do. So if you're comfortable doing what you just saw, yeah, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, we're going to delete this. And let me minimize the web page. And I've already downloaded the files. Here is default and here is fix. So go ahead and click fix. Do the usual yes, okay. And as you can see, it added Bing search enabled. I've had a couple of issues with this one not removing it correctly. Let's see if it works. I think I got it fixed. Yeah, I do. All right, took me a little while to edit that registry file and get it working correctly. Uh, just kind of stupid on my part. But as you can see, if you don't want to play with a registry, it's not that hard to just use the registry files. You can see it works. It does everything for you. And worst case, you can always export this key if you're not sure. File, export, and that's how you back up a registry key. Name it, and if there's a problem, you can just import that registry key. But I don't see where you're going to have any kind of problem here. It's pretty simple to do whether you want to use the registry files or you want to go ahead and do it yourself. That's up to you. So there we go. That should fix you for now. Hopefully uh, Microsoft will have it fixed soon, but in the meantime, you will be good to go. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.